Hello and welcome to the Viva La Bova podcast. I am your host, Dr. Kara Quant, and I have a recurring guest on the podcast today, Lily Wang, who is CEO owner of Metamore, and she has been uh, a regular now. Um, this is her third time being on the podcast, so I am so excited <laughs> to Yay! have a, a regular guest. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Kara. So glad to be back. Yes. And so today, um, so Lily has definitely been keeping me up on like, you know, different months and what what uh, people celebrate during these different months, especially in terms of sexual health. And so this month uh, of September 2019 is Menopause Awareness Month. So we are doing all uh, information about menopause and the um, symptoms and things that uh, can affect women during menopause and talking about some products that can help help women during um, menopause to alleviate pain during sex, to uh, enhance pleasure, and so forth. So I am so thankful for that you are on the podcast today, and we are talking about Menopause Awareness Month. Yes, happy September, happy Menopause Awareness Month, and thank you again for having me. Yes. So I um, wanted to go over, oh, and so uh, if you guys wait until the end, we will be doing some giveaways on the podcast. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. Um, and also instructions on what to do um, and how to get uh, entered into the giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that at the end. Um, but let's get started with uh, what exactly menopause is. Because there's a lot of women that come and talk to me and they're like, uh, I don't quite know if I'm, you know, in the menopause, like if, if this is menopause right now. So there's definitely definitions about what menopause is. Um, and Lily, did you want to talk, yeah. or like give a, give the definition? I wonder if like, it's what most women just kind of like dread, but let's not dread it. There's hope and there's definitely good benefits to it as well. But yeah. menopause really just means when the ovary stops producing the hormones of estrogen and progesterone, correct? Dr. Kara? Yes. Uh huh. How we recognize it too is um, no more periods, no more monthly periods. So yay. But uh, there are some of the symptoms and side effects of what happens when you get menopause. And the one most popular that I always hear from my lady friends are hot flashes. Hot flashes, yeah. Not sleeping well. And it definitely does mess around with your hormones. So how your sex, it definitely will affect your sex life. And yeah. what can we do about it? So that's what we'll talk about today. Yes, exactly. And menopause is, um, um, to add, it's also a year. So if a woman has not been having her period for, for a year or more, that is um, considered menopause. So on top of the, you know, like the loss of the hormones, um, it's also not having a period for a year. So there are some women that come in and they're like, hey, um, I was spotting like a couple months ago, um, but it's bec becoming less frequent that I'm having periods. And I'm like, well, it's considered perimenopause at this point. It's not necessarily considered menopause until you've not had symptoms for a year. And, um, and in terms of like what happens during the, um, uh, to the vagina is a lot. So there is something called vaginal atrophy, which can happen, which is a loss of elasticity. Um, and there also can be some vaginal dryness uh, that comes along with those hormone drops. And so um, it is not a, you know, like it's not your sex life is gone after menopause, uh, but there are definitely products out there that can help to, like I said, enhance pleasure and to um, decrease pain, especially with sex. Well said. So that, yeah, that's, that's kind of considered uh, genitourinary syndrome of menopause, which is just a long word and term um, for uh, the symptoms uh, of the vagina um, that can affect a woman during menopause. And um, if you've heard uh, from other providers um, that during this time, um, uh, women are put at higher risk of having different infections. So um, UTIs and yeast infections and things like that can be um, more, uh, women can be at, at more risk of having uh, these infections because their pH increases. And when the pH increases, it just means that um, it, it just puts a woman at risk for those infections. So, uh, but there's products out there. 
they're more sensitive. And then so we there's products out there that can help. Um, I was going to ask you a question, Dr. Kara, that just kind of came to mind. How yeah. long does a menopause period last for? Um, so you mean the menopause, like just menopause? Mm-hmm. Going through it. So most women do experience it for, during the first like 10 to 15 years of uh, after they have stopped having periods. Um, but there are some women that have it longer. So it just depends. It depends on... It depends on so many factors, like um, how your body reacts to it, um, what your what your mom went through, actually. Um, so there's a. a um, it depends on uh, obesity or not, um, because there's actually fat cells that can uh, produce estrogen and actually not have um, the. Uh, you you don't have a big effect. Um, from menopausal symptoms, so like the hot flashes and things like that aren't as prominent when um, uh, women have a little bit more fat in their bodies. Um, so it just, it really just depends on like the person and and when they started uh, menopause as well as when their mom went through it. But there's yeah, there's other factors to it. Thank you. Yeah. That, actually, yes. <laughs> that shared a lot more insights than I thought too. So thanks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, the average age of menopause. So um, there are uh, a lot of studies out there, but one of them says that, uh, or the more, what I tell patients is um, the age that your mom went through menopause is uh, a good indicator of when you will go through menopause. So there's a lot of women that are like, well, you know, when am I going to go through it? it? It often depends on when your mom went through it. Sure. It is all very much of it is hereditary. <laughs> yes, exactly. And so you were talking about like, you know, the the um, menopausal symptoms, right? So we were talking about um, vaginal dryness. We were talking about um, there's definitely mood swings that can occur with menopause. Um, just health just uh, the hot flashes. And then because of the hot flashes and your hormones changing, it'll, it'll affect sleep. I read a lot about how menopause can affect insomnia and how our REM sleep is affected. So once that's of course disrupted too, that kind of does go into and affects your day and what causes the mood swings possibly. Yeah. <laughs> It's all a cycle as well. And then how do we lose weight? You know, there's a lot of usually weight gain or uh, to lose weight is is more challenging. So um, we have some really neat things too today too that we'll talk about on uh, when you are going through menopause. What is your diet supposed to look like? And, and there's special recipes out there that could help. Mm, and you know what? As a doctor, we never hear about the special recipes. I mean, you know, we hear about like, okay, well, this is some medication I can give you. And this is, you know, some things that you can try. Um, um, but we don't hear about like what, what type of diet we can put somebody on. Sure. And then of course, like, you, I mean, what you said too is, is so much dependent on the individual and their background and their culture and and uh, their, their mother and the hereditariness of it, but just on how everyone processes food differently, just mm -hmm. how everyone's menopause phase is going to be different. Yeah. And there's non-prescription naturopathic solutions that I think could help. It may not solve it 100%. And of course, medications today, science medication does always um, assist. But if you want to kind of go as natural as you can, there's there's options to just study and read. Yeah. And there are. And, and I feel like, um, uh, well, there's controversy definitely with uh, things like hormones, you know, hormone replacement therapy or HRT. Um, there's a lot of women that are like, I will never do this. Don't even like, don't even give me the option for it. There's some women that are like, I definitely want to take it, you know, give me more information about it. Um, but there's, there's a wide range of, uh, things that you can do. There's medications, there's non-medications, there's, you know, more holistic and naturopathic things that, uh, that can be done as well. So there's, there's, there's options. Yay. <laughs> yes, there are options for women out there. And so, um, what are some, uh, products that, that can help? Like, what are some products that you have at Metamore, um, that can help with, um, alleviating some symptoms of, uh, menopause, either like vaginal dryness or um, pain with sex or so forth. 
And I'll try to answer this, I think, twofold. So menopause is such a large um, subject and category for us to like really dissect and talk about. Metamore with menopause is very much focused on the health condition with your sexual health. So I think there's the twofold of it is that one individual needs to kind of make sure that they're doing their self-care. I think self-care, taking the time that they are getting the right sleep and exercise and diet and eating right is going to help with the menopause overall, but then it will definitely help you in your sex life too. So um, let's talk about on the sex life aspect of it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and I actually was going to say that, you know, um, as an internal medicine doctor, we have to keep our, you know, going along that we have to keep our body healthy, you know, like exercise, maintaining um, a good circulation through our body that helps to maintain circulation to our genitals. Um, so, yes, exercise, eating right, uh, getting good sleep, those are all a part of health, like overall health of our body. It's all about balance, right? We've talked about, about balance. Yes. Sleep, exercise, eating right. And when you're doing all those three things and you're stress, watching your stress levels, it will counter and help support your positive sex life too. So yeah, yeah. Um, something to definitely help with the menopause. Vaginal dryness is the number one most popular thing that we hear about through women. Oh my gosh, my hormones have changed. My vulva and my vaginal dryness is just, it's starting to become painful. So what can I do about it? So not only do you need to use lubricant during sex, it's recommended that you can do it for daily use too. So use a personal moisturizer or lubricant for daily use. And there's hundreds and thousands of formulas out there. What you want to look at is making sure, look at the ingredients. Are the ingredients helping you become more moist or is it actually drying you out even more? There are unfortunately some products that are on the shelf that aren't FDA cleared or are, are FDA cleared, but they don't look at the, the actual percentages of the ingredients that can actually do counterintuitive and harm you. Yeah. Um, it's not going to harm you. I mean, like everything that's out on the shelves is okay, but there's products that are better for you. So just like how we care about what cosmetics we use for our skin, what skincare products, what hair products we mm. use, we're very much looking at the ingredients of how our beauty is. Why not take care of yourself in the most intimate area of your body? Yeah. Where the tissue is so thin. And if you're dry down there, it's almost at the not too late of a point because you can still, of course, recover, but make sure you're using lubricant that has good ingredients. Yeah. And you know what? I will add, I'm actually, um, uh, in the next coming weeks, I'm doing an episode on lubricants and like what things to avoid, but I will put some products to avoid, uh, within the description of, of this, uh, episode, because I feel like it's, it's very important. There's so many products out there. There's so many products. Um, but I know that you have already done the hard work for people. And so a lot of your products at metamore.com, um, are, are, have been, tested or have been approved by doctors for women to use. Correct. Correct. So with Metamore, I work with a team of medical professionals that includes MDs, nurse practitioners, product um, experts, manufacturers themselves, and of course, lots of men and women just getting feedback on what is good and what's not. And we've already cleaned up the site, making sure that we've curated it. So only products that are glycerin free, paraben free, propylene glycol free, like no uh, having and no preservatives, having no chemicals uh, in the lubricants because you need something that's the most natural and if not organic, clean going into your body. Exactly. And, you know, so so those products that you just mentioned, the parabens, the, um, the glycerins, those really do uh, affect your pH. And um, if you guys have been hearing me say, or in other past episodes, I talk about pH because our vagina really needs a certain pH. And if it goes too high or if it goes too low, but it's, it's usually if it goes too high, um, then that can put us at risk for things like BV or bacterial vaginosis, for yeast infections. Mm -hmm. And so these products, um, the bad products, the glycerins can put someone at higher risk. So that's the reason why we talk about um, removing those products from the lubricants and the moisturizers that are put in. Right, right. 
Mm -hmm. So we are doing a giveaway, which will include a full size bottle of lubricant. And sorry, I didn't want to like steal the punch, but um, <laughs> I do want to go through a couple of what there's so many options out there. And again, Metamore's already curated it to clean ingredients. But even so, with the clean ingredients, I've got a few dozen, a couple dozen uh, different options. And it really does just become more of like personal preference. There's everyone's got different sensitivities. And people might just like, like the feel of one versus another. There's no right or wrong here. There, That's why there's just different options for different folks. Yeah. So uh, do you want to go through a few of these? Yeah. Maybe just to see? Okay. So our, like, one of our most popular, everyone that goes to, and a very known brand is called Sliquid. Yes, I've seen that before. So Sliquid Organics, made in the U.S., vegan friendly, very clean, just of aloe based, water based uh, lubricant, glycerin free, paraben free, no propylene glycol, just a great daily use of lubricant and also during for sex. And something that they were very conscientious to think about too, is for any folks who don't maybe feel comfortable carrying this bottle in their bag because it says lubricant on it. They have one that has an aloe base as well and even has carrageenan in it, which are properties from the seaweed plant that could fight off yeast infections. Mm, I like that. that. It's just like a beautiful packaging. Doesn't say lubricant anywhere on the bottle. It says personal moisturizer. So this could be used for daily use. Okay. And this could be as well, but they did just kind of think of conscientiously of making sure that their audience, whether this is someone in their 50s going through menopause, post-menopause, versus someone who just wants to have fun in bed and yeah. get rid of their sexy time. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I do want to say, so um, I, um, uh, I've said this before, but ISHWISH, which is the International Society of the Study of Women's Sexual Health, um, I've attended a couple of their conferences. That is actually where I met Lily um, and, you know, started collaborating since then. Um, but they di they distinguish between moisturizers and lubricants. So um, it is or it's been told that the moisturizers are the ones that are used on a daily basis and that can help with um, improving the, the dryness of the, um, the vagina. And just uh, it's basically like a skin moisturizer, but putting inside the vagina rather than on the, the skin. Um, mm -hmm. And then lubricants are more for like an as needed basis, um, uh, using it during sex, helping to alleviate friction during sex and so forth. Um, and I know that there are some products that put both of them in there, right? So there's moisturizer, lubricant combinations. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Yes. So then, and then um, it's liquid again, they're very conscientious too, just because of they're very keeping in mind of the woman. We have a very few small percentage of folks out there who are allergic to aloe. So that's the actual base of the water-based lubricant. They do come out with a coke using this vaginally internally too as well. Sorry, say that again. Okay. It, it uh, messed up. Oh, okay. No worries. We'll edit. Right, yes. <laughs> so another lubricant made by Sliquid is called Sliquid with coconut oil because we actually have a small portion of folks who are allergic to the aloe base, which is the water base of it. And there's a lot of health properties to the coconut oil with vitamins, vitamin E, vitamin D that are great to use for internally of your vagina to help moisturize it. And you can use this for daily or just for sex as well. Okay. Cool. And what else? We got a couple of them. Um, I want to give some notice to Intimate Earth Defense. They actually have ingredients of the guava bark and tea tree, tea tree oil, excuse me, tea tree oil with the guava bark because it also has healing properties of vitamins and can fight off infections and yeast infections as well. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, I just want to, oh, two more. I want to showcase silk. Lubricant. Yes, I have used that before. That's a good one. Yeah. This actually, the key ingredient in this one is aloe base as well as the kiwi vine fruit extract. So the vitamins from the kiwi vine, kiwi vine, excuse me, <laughs> is 
Say that five times fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kiwi vine food extract. It's infused into this lubricant because, again, they the ingredients of healing properties of vitamins going into your tissue membrane um, to help with your body is going to alleviate the pain and the dryness to help make sure that you enjoy and bring sex pleasurable again. Yes, 100%. And then this one has just been a popular one that you've also experienced as well, Dr. Kara, is our Bella Aqua de Amor. Yes, I have. Hey. Which is absolutely, it's a great product. I have it my, on, my, uh, on my nightstand. It is a very good product. I love it. And there's um, no, there's no, um, like, I don't feel the, the gooiness of it afterwards. It's very, like, easy. And, yeah, like, a, there's a lot of lubricants that are out there, obviously, um, and there's some that just don't go along with my body, but this is not one of them. I would say all the ones I just showed you, they all should have like t are odorless, tasteless, um, but the CBD the, with the properties of it, that could be so helpful. CBD cannabis just being so popular right now, you have to also make sure to make sure that you're getting the proper products and their batches and where they're made from. This is a USA made product, woman owned, woman created, and yes. the yeah, the benefits of the cannabis is that it's it's a moisture retention, anti-inflammatory, which also could fight off the bacteria, bad bacteria, mm -hmm. and just pain management. It can actually help relieve some pain. It increases the blood flow, so your partner actually would enjoy it as well. And right now, it's just so it's just good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a it's a good product. So for people out there that just want to try it, definitely go to Metamore dot com for the for the product thanks <laughs> um, okay um it keeps it keeps we're freezing today yeah <coughs> okay um and so are there any are there any um uh so you're also talking about the so these are more products on alleviating or helping vaginal dryness and enhancing pleasure. I would say the number one thing needed for men, women going through menopause is lubricant. And whether that's for during to use during sex or daily use. Okay. Yes. And then um, are there other products? I know we were talking about some other products that you have in terms of um, vibrators and things. Yes. Let's get to the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Women going through menopause, it might occur to them that they're going through pain, like it's just a little bit more painful to have sex, and it could be because of the vaginal dryness. So once you go get through making sure that you're moisturizing properly, the sex may be alleviated. But meanwhile, if you want to enjoy sex and have pleasure, externally, I think we always forget about our beautiful clitoris. So we should definitely focus on external pleasure. And our great seller, also just a very popular, is the Womanizer. Yes, so the and I've heard so much about this. Yay, the brand is called Womanizer. The one I'm holding and show, showing on video right now is the Starlet. And this is very simple, four speeds, four modes, waterproof. It's actual air pulse technology. That's circulating the air around this area and it's supposed to suck actually onto your clitoris to kind of emulate oral pleasure mm, yes and i had i do have to say from a uh, personal use since i did get one from metamore um it is it is a good product to use it's direct stimulation to the clitoris uh and you know our clitoris has eight thousand nerve endings so there is a lot of uh sensation going on and, you know, you can use it uh, alone, you can use it with a partner, you can use it during vaginal uh, penetration. So there's a lot of ways that you can use this product. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's rechargeable, so you can always use it over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> and Womanizer just came out. never ends. No, it doesn't end. Womanizer came out with a few new SKUs. So there's different shapes and sizes and different colors. This is the smallest mini one. That's like just great for travel. Yeah. You can throw it in your purse in your pocket, and it's definitely like small, like less than the palm of your hand. But there are some that are larger, just in case you wanted to be able to have like a nice handle with it too. 
Mm, I yeah. see. And so that little and that little button on the end. So that's how you can control the different um, the modes, right? Correct. I don't know if you hear that, but yeah. Four speed, four modes. Yeah, <laughs> a vibration. Yeah, and it's just good. Uh, it's pulsating the air around. The so air pulse technology is what Womanizer is known for. Mm, yes, I like it. I do. Yeah. It's a good product out there. Okay. Um, and so for um, um, the giveaway, um, what it, what exactly is uh, are we going to give away this time? Yes. Yeah, so for today, your lucky giveaway winner. I definitely with with how intimate or you know how intimate and sex is for different individuals everyone's different with how their body's going to react to certain things i would love to provide an option for the lubricant and so if your giveaway winner will connect and talk about like which formula they would prefer to have a lubricant of their choice okay and then, um for women going through menopause something to just kind of play with um is we wanted to donate a classic bullet mm. it's Proof, rechargeable, battery operated as well by Rian S. It comes with this beautiful bag and lo cute locket. That's and cute. Yeah, and the whole idea is that it's it like a makeup bag or something like that also. Definitely. A beautiful piece to go for a beautiful act. You know, no one should be ashamed here. You're just basically discovering your body and feeling pleasure. And, of course, you can use it with your partner as well. But this is a silicone Medical grade silicone, very safe for you to use anywhere in your body. It comes with a nice pouch. You could throw your lubricant in here when once uh, you receive this. Okay. And just because of the subject, I thought this was so appropriate and a really good book called The Menopause Book. I like it. Yeah, medical professionals actually like claim that it needs to be a required read. And it looks long, but it's, I promise it's not dry. I'm actually, you know, going through it myself, reading reading about the menopause book. And the pages have, like, good illustrations to kind of just share about what questions that you may have. And it's more fun to go through. Yeah. Um, I like then, illustrations. I don't. I don't like a dry, boring book that just has nothing. But well, no. There's books that I like to read, but <laughs> in terms of like medical information, it can be boring. So pictures are always good, and illustrations. Right. <laughs> illustrations break it up a little bit. Yeah. And then kind of mentioned earlier about how like if you're going through menopause, like what can you do to alleviate it a little bit? Like you know, there's so many. All of us are gonna be affected differently, and how your mother's. Uh, when and how her menopause phase went through is probably what you'll have to experience. Yeah. There are recipes in this book on what you can eat and that could help to alleviate some of the, the hot flashes and pain. So recipes are fun in here. And then I just was kind of flipping through. There's even like exercises. So it shows you like different exercises that you can do to help with the pain of menopause as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so with the symptoms. So we'll have the book for sure. Okay. Beautiful Rian S bullet bag. Yes. A lubricant. And then a lubricant. Of the of their choice. Of their choice. <laughs> okay. For this one. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So yes, for Menopause Awareness Month, we are giving away those products. And we were saying that it's like an $85 value. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are getting it for the giveaway. And so we will be um, posting this uh, giveaway on September ooh, on uh, September 13th. And so we will be stopping the giveaway on the 16th. Um, all you have to do is go to one of our uh, Instagram or social media platforms. So um, Viva La Vulva LA or uh, Metamore One. <laughs> yes, you have to have the one under there. Um, liking us and tagging a friend. Uh, the instructions will be on the social media sites. Um, but we will stop the giveaway uh, on the 16th at noon. And again, all the instructions will be on our social media pages. So you'll be able to see what the instructions are. And yes, that is for Menopause Awareness Month of September. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I enjoy it. So, um, and 
so there is in October, um, Lily was telling me that it is World Menopause Awareness Month, which may be different than just regular Menopause Awareness <laughs> Month. <laughs> so uh, we may actually do a part two in October. And so I would love for you guys to send um, feedback, um, either feedback on our social media pages, um, Viva La Vulva LA or Metamore One, um, or just emailing questions at uh, Viva La Vulva, uh, I'm sorry, info at Viva La Vulva LA.org. Um, so that would be great for us to hear your feedback and your input and questions. And then we can answer some of those questions uh, on the next podcast episode with Metamore. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. We'd love, yeah, we'd love to hear from women who um, are either they think that they're going to approaching menopause or are in it or advice or tips, any feedback. Yeah, that would just help us come up with even like more fun um, dialogue and content to share with all of you. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And so if you guys are interested in any of the products that you saw today, um, you can head over to metamore.com and that is M-E-D-A-M-O-U-R.com. And you can actually put the, uh, code in the discount code Viva La Vulva, just all one word, right? Viva La Vulva and um, get a discount on your products. So the the lubes that you've seen, the, um, the womanizer, the uh, vibrator, all of those can be found on the Metamore website. That's right. That sounded all great, Dr. Kara. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, with that being said, uh, I think that we are Coming to a close, I don't know if you wanted to add anything, Lily. No, this was such a pleasure. Always an honor to be on air with you. Thank you. And I love that I could be one of your regular guests. And exactly. We'll, we'll come up with more fun stuff when we've got uh, lots ahead. I yes, like. no, we do. We do have a lot of head, a lot ahead, and we're thinking about doing live videos and things like that. You know, so we can interact with uh, the audience. So um, it is growing more and more on a regular basis with met with metamore. <laughs> so with, that, with that being said, I thank you for listening to the Viva La Vova podcast. Again, I am your host, Dr. Kara Quant, and thank you. Bye.